guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting to two episodes three and four of Saki Side A. So let's go ahead and get started with episode three and three, two, one, go. Ow, that hurt. Excuse me. <laughs> you got this. So are we doing another training day? I'm guessing so, or is it competition? I don't think it's competition desk. Another bonding activity moment. Is it bad that I kind of went she's in order to go against Saki herself? I don't know. I mean, because I feel like those two would have a really good match together. Yeah. Let's see. That's a wish list for this show. It'll be fine. You'll do great. She shakes like every five seconds. <laughs> okay, sometimes you gotta do that. You know you don't want to. Sometimes you just gotta, you know, rip that band aid off and face the most OP team in like the first couple episodes. The first couple of minutes. Once again, I feel like once when, when they do me on Adoka and Nationals, they're gonna be like Naruki, and, and then Naruki's gonna look at them and like, mm, who are you again?
That was the one thing that none of them prepared for. You in the newspaper? <laughs> My girl is too fired out like <laughs> Every weekend, though. She. I think you can. I mean, we're now going into a situation where you're eating, sleeping, and breathing, Majan. So, I mean, say goodbye to the life you have now. Ma'am, already. Ma'am. Right? <laughs> That's like, you know, when you go somewhere, you're like, oh my god, look at this! <laughs> my personal thing, favorite thing. Oh my god, there's a Walmart in the front. We have Walmart here. I'm like, I know, but it's a completely different Walmart. <laughs> Ready? Uh, 
everybody. Don't break a vase. Anything. We don't need to pay anybody. Of course we're seeing them first. It makes the most sense to see them first. Now is what's her face also here as well? Yeah, of course she is. You know, once again, that's a group I wouldn't even want to go up against. Like, just because they, they got second for a reason. Damn. Wipe them on the floor. Wipe the floor with her. Oh, my God. Of course, ma'am, this is the same little girl who beat the crap out of the pro, the pro player? It's complicated. You know, when the moon's out, you know, we're already drowning under her ish. When the moon's out, it's even worse. Can it be like some like pasta? Oh my god. I'm sorry, I'm hungry. I'm gonna eat pizza after this. <laughs> Yeah, team power is all that matters right now. A 10 day training count. Ma'am. Poor baby, we should even work on. <laughs> she got like <laughs> she do she got horns and horns of blankets and such
I mean, the way she holding her hand like that looked more like a confession. I would kill for either a Sprite or a Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream. Literally. Well, yeah. The Dr. Pepper strawberries and cream, a Sprite, or a... I'm, I'm loving this drink so far. It's a brisk um, bullet orange drink. Literally the best thing. <laughs> Top three. Get hungry. <laughs> Time to go. Did you just say country? The country? I need to tell you. Yeah. 
Well, you say hi. You have to deal with it in the moment. Oh. Is that Saki, though? No, the other girl. From the same school. But... Mm-hmm. Precious baby girl Saki. The way that they're showing her and portraying her in this episode, oh my god, a completely different light for our, our, our Saki, how she is in the original series. So it makes you wonder when we do get to the other version and the other side of this, how it's going to look the opposite way. Because it, one, the difference in art style. Two, the way that they just portrayed this girl. Because it's like, oh my God, this girl's like, Saki is the ultimate and total badass right here in this moment. Like, oh my God, like, yes, we need to watch out for her. But, mm. Boy, 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 like, oh, damn, because <laughs> uh, at first I was thinking like, yeah, like by the end of this, I probably would have seen Nadoka first, but to run into Saki first, oh, That's scary. That's all I'll say about that. Scary as fuck. Mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Just once again, in the way they portrayed her. Now, is it also weird? Because, mm, we don't know how this is going to go. Why do I feel like these girls are going to lose? I mean, I hate, I hate to say it because once again, th this is Saki's show. And remember, Saki is trying to do everything to, you know, see her sister, have her sister acknowledge her. This is that and third and such. And having another um, protagonist doing the, what I like to call it, the spinoff show or the spinoff sequel show. Um, and their goals of wanting to meet Nadoka. Like, yeah, they're going, like, again, yeah, they're going to, excuse me, yes, they're going to achieve that goal but at the same time at what cost because i mean once again like everybody has their own goals and they're going to do everything in their power to strive and to make that goal possible and to you know see a, a, a real good ending of this but right now i mean like what i'm really truly thinking about it is and especially how good saki nadoka um tacos uh, the girl with the glasses whose name I cannot remember and of course you know their senpai um are as a group together and because we're in a team tournament we're not in individual moments is right there um as of now the odds are against them like I feel like this group and I, and I should have said this more last week they feel like the underdogs 
and such. There was a moment where in, like, the first half of Saki, like, yes, Saki and her team did feel like the underdogs and stuff. But now, because of the fact is that they won um, the, pre the prelims before the Nationals, they're not the underdogs anymore. They're the ones that everybody is truly kind of gunning for to defeat, while anyone else who is new coming in, whether you are watching it from the sidelines or you're going into it yourselves, you are a an underdog. Think about any type of competition show that could be a reality TV show competition, um, the Olympics in a nutshell, or just anything. When you know that some of these, like, athletes, these top, top athletes are really good at their craft and hone their craft, because sometimes I wonder why some of these other sports ain't in the fucking Olympics. Like, I mean, remember when skateboarding finally got into the, in the Olympics? And I, your girl was so happy <laughs> because I got to see, like, one of my favorite <laughs> skateboarders that I ever catch on who unfortunately retired because he is a skateboarder and a snowboardist. Um, do both every four years, and that was always, like, the best highlight for me. But now that since he's not on Team USA anymore and he retired, it's like sad day for Tisha because you're no know, pay. But it's okay. It happens. <laughs> but if they did something like chess or whatever where the, it got truly possible and popular. Excuse me, oh my god, I'm sleepy. World freaking wine and seeing it as an Olympics point, then yeah, who knows how that would go? Because I mean, Jesus. But like, no, I don't, I don't think it's like we would ever truly see that. Maybe in the future, guys. But once again, think about the newcomers who come in in any type of a sport. They are the underdogs and the ones who are at the top were those underdogs at first. And now they are the overachievers they are the ones that everybody will officially always be rooting for and such and sometimes with the ones that you are rooting for it is a very pressurizing moment for them once again i can talk about the my crush of my favorite skateboarder slash snowboarder athlete um i think it was his second year of being in the Olympics and I think he said like a lot of it really he had a lot of fucking stress and um I think his first run that he did when it was his second Olympics and stuff he did really good but in the end he ultimately um if, if it was the second year I don't know it was like one year I don't remember um he didn't make it to finals and he blamed himself a lot and I remember like some people on social media were being really truly hard on him um on it and this is why you have to remember when at the end of the day athletes are people too you can't lash out on anybody because of this is that and the third it's just you encourage them and they take those encouragements and they strive to do better and train harder and such look i mean because like where the hell are we going now in the olympics i don't really remember because after i think after the tokyo olympics i your girl nodded out like <laughs> like i have not watched the olympics since Tokyo in tw what 2020 I think and I yeah <laughs> but seriously once again my underdog my new underdog girls they're doing good I hope they can do great I don't want them to lose I want them to win but at the same time I'm thinking of Saki and them, and you know, we just, we want everybody to win. We can't have everybody win, though. We need everybody to be happy, but we can't have everybody to be happy. It's just a damned if you do, damned if you don't situation, and I don't like it. I want everyone to truly be happy, but you know, we can't have that, unfortunately. But go ahead and pause the video, and I will see you guys in one second for episode three. Alrighty, episode four. <laughs> Not episode three. My bad. And three. Two, one, go.
Okay, one more thing I need to say. Um, I was not expecting this for episode three and four. I was expecting this at least with the last episode of the series. Yeah. But, um, now my question is, episode five to the end of side A, what the hell is this going to be about now? Because you're, you're showing me things that should have been in the final few episodes. So, um, yeah. Where are we going with this after this episode? Because, um... What? Yeah. Right. Hey. Right, and you are good. I get that. So by the time the series is over.
right? We sightsee after. We talk about kill. <laughs> ah. <laughs> I was not expecting this at all to go like into a POV of this group. Once again, I I thought the whole thing would have been about the new group. And then Nationals would have been, boom, back to Saki and friends. No, we get in the balance. Family time. Not the sword, girl. Brows, though. I don't know why, but she giving me leaf vibes from Pokemon. Okay.
Damn. She tried though. See, something told me the reason why she did it, she had something else up her sleeve. Right? Yeah, but you don't know what everybody else has. Like, she ain't giving these girls a moment to think. She like, boom, damn, damn. <laughs> My girl said, good fucking bye. <laughs> Oh, of course she's fine. Look at her.
Right? Right? <laughs> right? So you can't be too hyper. As in true colors as is. <clears throat> That's a completely different girl now. Her eyes look terrifying. Oof. Okay. So, yes. Congratulations to my babies. Yay. Oh my god, let's get a roll on for day two, hopefully, because yes, you're going against people that you just met at the uh, previous episode, and now at the end of this episode, you're about to go against one of them.
I said that hurts. How is that gonna go? I'm a little scared. Oof. If I'm scared now with this match, how is it gonna be when Saki and them come in? I don't know how to feel, but this was good. I, I love the fact that what they did with this episode where we got to see almost everybody's POV where, of course, yes, you're getting, you know, the girls who are, the new girls who are on this show, but still, once again, featuring Saki and everyone else that you saw in the previous show. And it's sweet. I do like that. I love it when shows um, necessarily do that because, like, okay, I cannot believe I'm about to compare this to something else. Think about, like, any anime that you've watched for, like, a long time that has had, like, hold on. That has been on for a long time. So let's say maybe, like, over 10 years. Maybe let's say, going on, like, maybe 15 years, right? And throughout the year celebrating the anniversary of it stuff like every season maybe focuses on or every couple of years we get a new protagonist now i'm not saying this is pretty cure this could be pretty cure um i'm also thinking of aikatsu i'm thinking of maybe even not sailor moon um we can say pokemon now because pokemon has done that but um for more or less Pretty Cure and Aikatsu, I can say Pretty Pata as well. Those series has always, like, had different um, protagonists with featuring different characters as well. And then there's always maybe, like, one season where they decide to have everybody from the start of the series to the current series all together. Like, Aikatsu did Aikatsu One Parade, which was, like, a 20, I think, episode series of featuring all these girls from all the way from 2012 up until when On Parade came out, which was a lot of girls. And then, you know, you have Pretty Her, which is the longest running, you know, magical girl series and stuff um, that has a total of 70 something girls. And they're all, in, they're, they're, about, they're about to break the damn record in their new movie. We all know that. And such but I do always like when you get to see new care the new characters interact with the old characters it just makes everything all make sense it feels like you were really truly home and such and so I love to see once again when we do get that moment for these girls to interact with Nautica again that it, it, it's really like not heartbreaking, but warm and happy and just lovable because, of course, this will be the first time that they've seen each other since a while. And so you want that first, like, moment to just feel just really happy. It's kind of like when you get to see your friends for the first time in, like, ages because, you know, once high school is over and you're going off on your own adventures and stuff, yes, you eventually you do stop catching up with each other. But when there is that one day that you decide to catch up with your girlfriends or your guy friends or whoever and you get to see them, you're just like, oh, my God, like, where the fuck have you been? Where has the time gone? This is that and the third. And you're just so happy. It, it's it's funny when you're doing it more like on the internet and on like a webcam. But it's a, com a deeply, a different, complete feeling when you are in the presence of your friends or family or whoever you really care about. Because it's like, damn. Like, I can't hug you <laughs> in a camera. I can hug you, like, <laughs> when you're right in front of me, but not when we're, like, talking on a webcam and stuff. It's just so freaking sweet, and you just want to cry. <laughs> so maybe we might get some tears out of them. Who knows? But other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episodes three and four of Saki Side A. If you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like. It really helps me out. Also, subscribe to my channel. I make videos every single day. Enjoy the matches. And, of course, I will see you guys officially all next Monday for everybody else for episode. Nope. <laughs> next Monday for everybody else and next Saturday for Patreons for episodes 5 and 6. But until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye!